Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 2nd, the second day of Introduction to Communication and Culture. This is uh, mostly a process update. First of all, um, I wanted to tell you that I've been thinking about it and I had a question from one of the students about where you're going to post the answers to the questions on the theoretical readings. And um, I will make a separate thread for every one of the readings. That makes a lot of sense to keep those together. There's, you'll be able to keep track of um, who's thinking about what and read each other's responses in a way that makes way more sense than my original idea. So I will be updating the threads on Slack today so that you'll have a thread for every theoretical reading. And that leads me to the second question I had, which was about the reading questions. So the reading questions, they're those questions about what were the main questions that the, the author was trying to grapple with and what what did you take away from how they answered those questions, how other people might answer those questions, and places that you have seen some other creator grapple with similar questions, and then um, how you might answer those questions. So those questions, the handout is posted on the portal, and you should use that for all the theoretical readings, which means uh, all the readings in the Rutledge Reader plus the hooks and um, the Bollinger reading. Those, um, as an aside, those two readings I will be posting on the portal today. Um, and also the reading that is a, a wiki that talks about framing. Um, so the threads will be available on Slack probably by noon but uh, all of them, but it might be later. I will do the one for the Garber reading as soon as I finish talking to you because that's the reading that you need to focus on at this point between day two and day three. So I hope that answers clearly the two questions that I've had. And then um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the concept of binaries that I threw out yesterday in one of the videos. And that is that there's an either or, and that we uh, have habits of thinking that lead us to look at things as we are either right or we're wrong. We are either a protester or we're a police officer. Um, we are either a black person or a white person. We are either a person who is a Republican and has all those views or a Democrat and has all those views. Socialism is wrong. Um, these are all things that come out of uh, habits of thinking that are very well established in Western culture so that you have this or that. And um, what we're going to talk about a lot this semester is in the process model of communication in, in cultural studies, communication studies, we look a lot at difference and how there are spectrums of meaning. And that very rarely do we actually in real life encounter these the binaries, but we're it just we're in a habit of of constructing them. So that's a, a a way that we begin to look at how the way we think and communicate constructs our culture, constructs the way we view the world. And we're going to hear a lot more about that kind of construction. Um, it's a philosophy, social constructionism. And we will look into um, a lot of thinkers who are based in this idea that the way we act, the way we move through the world, the way we understand the world constructs our world. And um, so 
as a beginning of looking at the world the way these theorists see it, I would like us to take on that concept of binaries today on day two. Um, as you think about the, the young men who worship Brecht and the stories about them, see where you can find the journalist who is constructing the narrative about this. Um, where can you see in that short introduction to it where the, sto the narrative that's constructed is asking us to see, see binaries? So as an example of, of doing that, I will talk about a little bit of my viewing. Today, I watched Hannah Gadsby's Nanette show on Netflix. And if you have Netflix, I highly recommend you look at it. And she points out one of the binaries that's very common, both in literature, pop culture, and in real life. And that is that women are viewed as either virgins or whores. So you have a, a, a set of, of um, behavior elements, clothing elements, appearance elements that will say to someone looking at you, well, she's a pure woman or she's a fallen woman. And then there's this whole place in between that we don't use. So um, look for binaries like that. Think about binaries in the literature you take, you can you consume, and the things you hear people saying, the way you think about the world, and be sure to include that as you write and discuss the readings about the the real Lord of the Flies. So um, I'm up to seven minutes, so I better stop, or I'll never get this uploaded. Uh, have a great day.